The classic brain teaser asks, what weighs more, a ton of bricks or a ton of feathers? Unfazed by this childish trickery, we would answer that they would weigh the same one ton. Using the same rationale, could we answer, does muscle weigh more than fat? And this is our question for today. Pound versus pound, sure, they would weigh the same. One pound of muscle weighs the same as one pound of fat. On the other hand, if you took a square inch of muscle, it would weigh more than a square inch of fat, just like a square foot of bricks would weigh more than a square foot of feathers. This is why my we character says that I am overweight. But this question is commonly aroused when someone steps onto the scale and attempts to determine where the weight is coming from. We might hear, I weigh this much because I have a lot of muscle and muscle weighs more than fat. I think we can decipher this brain teaser with a basic understanding of body composition. Very simply, our bodies are composed of many things, including muscle, skin, organs, fat, and bones. Usually, though, our body composition is broken down as follows. One, fat tissue. Two, lean tissue, which is mainly muscle. And three, bone. Each of these contribute a percentage to your total body weight. They will add up to 100%. For example, what percentage of your body do you think is just fat tissue? 10%, maybe 30%, or 60%? Well, we have big fancy machines that can measure this for us. The gold standard is called Dual Energy X-ray Absorptometry, or DEXA for short. We have one in our lab, so I pulled some random anonymous scans to illustrate. This is what a scan looks like. You see it provides an image of the skeleton and what we call the soft tissue image, which is everything but the skeleton. All of this data over here shows us how much muscle, fat, and bone she has, not only from her total body, but for her arms, legs, and her trunk. This particular woman weighs 163.5 pounds. 92.1 pounds of her weight is from lean tissue, which again is mostly muscle. 66.5 pounds of her weight is fat, which is around 40.7% of her total body weight. Although there is no nationally recognized standard, women are commonly recommended to be around 33% or under for health risks. For this particular woman, we would recommend that she lose some body fat, but not muscle or bone, because fat is the health concern, especially the fat inside around her organs, which we call visceral fat. Now, take woman number two. She also weighs 163.5 pounds. However, only 33% of her body weight is fat, which is around 54.5 pounds. She also has 104 pounds of lean tissue, so at the same body weight, she has 12 more pounds of lean mass and 12 less pounds of fat mass than woman number one. Also notice that she has a body fat percentage that's not too high, as it's just at the 33% mark. So what's our conclusion? Back to our original question. One person could weigh more than the next person because they have more muscle, but also because they have more fat. This is why the question, does muscle weigh more than fat, needs clarification. Also, stay tuned for the next post using DEXA scans to decode the myth that we weigh more because we are big boned.